I've been saying cool a lot lately. Like, I'm 32. I'm way too old for this shit, but whatever. Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm here for my TBR for the Reading Rush, formerly known as the Booktubeathon. The Reading Rush is a readathon that takes place from July something to July something else. I will write it in the description box below. I honestly cannot remember right now and I should have wrote it down, but I didn't because I'm a horrible human being. I will also link the YouTube channel for the Reading Rush as well as their website in the description box below. I am on the website and I will put in my uh, username right here so that you can check me out and add me as a friend. I'm super excited there's gonna be badges and all kinds of fun things going on with the reading rush so while I probably don't have time to do the reading rush I definitely want to I hate that like my two favorite readathons two of my favorite readathons I guess I should say happen in the month of July because it's a nano month and because I do writing and reading and I have to do camp nano and it's just it's a crazy month so I'm excited but hesitant but excited but terrified at the same time so let's just get into this TBR so you guys can get the heck out of here and I guess I should mention you can double triple they don't care you could read one book that follows all seven prompts doesn't matter um so I did double up on a lot of these again because I am busy so the first book for the readathon that covers both the challenges of purple on the cover and a, an author's first book I will be reading The Babysitter's Coven by Kate Williams. I received an arc of The Babysitter's Coven I believe on Edelweiss. I, I've never been on Edelweiss before. I recently signed up for it and it was like the first book that I actually put in a request for and I got it and I might have screamed a little bit and by a little bit I mean quite a lot because look at this cover it is so gorgeous it is about a girl who basically is a witch and she is a babysitter and another girl comes to her basically saying you know that she wanted to join her group of babysitters and this girl's mother I believe it, her mother died and left behind a note that basically just said find the babysitters I don't know a whole lot about it I know that it's witchy I know the cover is fucking gorgeous and I'm super excited to read it because it's witchy and it's me and it's purple so let's roll with it it also comes out September 17th September 17th the next book I will be reading that covers both the challenges of reading in the same spot and a non-human main character I will be reading witch volume 6 um, I'm going to call this a non-human character because the girls did say that it was anything counted if it was like a witch or vampire or a werewolf or whatever would be considered as non-human. These girls are guardians. They have magical powers so I'm going to consider that a non-human character. It's a graphic novel. I can read it in the same spot on the couch in about a half hour so. This series used to be a television show as well but it follows a group of girls that are given powers to guard a veil that separates their world from a magical world and it's their job to protect their world from the beings in the magical world crossing over. I really enjoy this series. I'm super excited to read some more of it. Just adding to the pile from the last one that I filmed because I am bulk filming today. The next book which I will be reading for the challenge of reading a book with five or more words in the title will be The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. This is a book that takes place in the Shadowhunter world it follows Alec and Magnus in between the time of City of Glass and City of Fallen Angels. Book three and book four. I can never remember what the title of book four is. They're right behind me but I can't remember the names of them so we're just moving on with our lives. But yeah, reading this. And the final book that I will be reading which covers the challenge of reading and then watching a book's adaptation as well as a book that you meant to read last year because it was on TBR last year and then I didn't read it is Emma by Jane Austen. I pulled this out of my TBR box last month as well because I continuously pull it from the TBR box and then put it back because I don't want to read it because it's a classic and classics aren't my jam but I really need to read it because I like Jane Austen so like I, I just I need to read it. So these as well as a few others are my TBR for the reading rush this year. Let me know if you've read any of these and how you felt about them in the comment section below. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends and in July because I have a whole bunch of content I'm probably going to be posting both on Fridays and Sundays. So if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss anything that I have going on in the future make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!